there we go so most of you are aware the drake album came out um people weren't that fond of it because it essentially is him doing his version of house music i don't know why he kind of decided to do the house music thing maybe he did go to places like ib for and stuff before making the album maybe he's been listening and checking out clips online like we all have of the whole ama piano explosion that's basically i felt like happened from 20 to 2019 to now i feel like the whole world has finally discovered ama piano or discovered african house music in general and maybe that maybe opened his eyes to finding these collaborators in europe like kind of music like inner visions maybe forward you know he might end up working with them um the stuff he's doing with black coffee is super interesting too but in general in general we are definitely seeing a turn or a shift in culture towards that kind of sound and of course most recently with beyonce dropping her album renaissance we have a lot of house people contributing to that album we have a whole remix album that's basically been done by some pioneers of the house music scene too that are kind of contributing to it so it's clearly something that's happening it's clearly something in the water and i really like this clip of drake um that was featured on adam port's um instagram account and also uh, instagram account sorry and also kind of music crew their sort of instagram account for their entire collective kind of music and it basically features drake popping up in saint tropez where kind of music were doing a label showcase whatever they usually do with all them playing up on there and me ramper and um, adam port and he essentially just enjoying himself having a great time and me personally obviously after the success of his album because obviously ramper worked on it and put some you know some of his stardust all over the album as well and i guess he probably bumped into flipping um, black coffee out there because Sandra pay feels like it's like the new ib for maybe the ib for that hasn't been um baited up yet but i really liked this i really like this video i really like seeing drake here absorbing this recording all of it on his actual iphone and not recording it to kind of upload onto instagram so it's cool because it means he's going to go back and listen to some of these tracks and feel the vibe and maybe have that feedback into the later stuff he puts out because i still think even though honestly never mind didn't really hit where it meant to hit um i still think it was a good solid attempt for somebody who maybe has only got into house music recently and just wanted to make his first interpretation of it he's only going to get better jeremy he's a genius kind of guy so i'm definitely sure he's going to work it out but for me personally i like this clip because i want to see more black people on the dance floor i know i'm not that kind of guy i don't really talk about representation and that sort of stuff but sometimes when i go out and i go to these kind of events i like to go to techno nightclubs i like to go to you know do my bit of techno tourism i like to go to house nights let's go to disco nights it is a little bit disconcerting when you go out to these kind of places and you don't see more people that look like you because when you consider a lot of the music that they're playing is based on roots that come from black culture right and it's kind of upsetting that it's not really it doesn't really click with our community for some reason i'm not really too sure what the reason is because i still think a lot of artists out there especially black artists who are doing other types of genres if they dabbled in stuff like house music or even djs who are doing other genres if they decided to you know switch focus and start doing hard style start doing hardcore start doing i tell a disco start playing techno they would absolutely destroy even some black djs nowadays who used to play grime back in the day who are moving into tech house they're absolutely phenomenal behind the deck so i'd like to see more of them on there and i don't know this is naive but i would like to hope that maybe drake going to saint tropez and being so enamored with the house scene over there people seeing him post what he posted this clip going essentially viral and people all over the place seeing it will maybe be the push that a lot of people need to kind of be like a bit more curious to be like you know what let me just try it and check out this house thing let's see what i go on because i want to see more people that look like me on a dance floor i really really do but this is a clip anyway and big up kind of music too for the production they put into their little label showcase things i really dislike the whole like m many many people behind the dj booth and stuff but i think it does add to what they do because it's a kind of music crew it's free of them um it's always a collective thing 
it's never about the individual it's always a team spirit sort of vibe they have their radio show where they invite many people onto the show to do their mixes on there i would love to do one hopefully in the future and be have the privilege of being invited to do one also but they've always kind of been a collective type of vibe so maybe having a million people behind the dj booth and it being completely rammed and people's hands in the air trying to get you know trying to get their face inside of the camera and shit and have a viral social media moment is a bit cringe but i also makes sense what they do and also like the fact that they put a little effort into the signage and whatnot the smoke machines the balloons it's all kind of really fun and really carefree and kind of is a really big contrast from the events i go to like for instance i'm gonna go to this party in berlin that's put on by a collective called Conceptual. it's a complete opposite of this what they're doing i'm gonna also go to a night um put on by um hair and sauna completely different vibe right it's very black it's very silver it's very jock strappy it's very um you know studded belts and studded collars and shit so to see this sort of vibe is quite nice it's a bit of refreshing in general to have that kind of duality happening in a scene where you have these two things going on and they're kind of coexisting and even in a house scene there is a house type there is a genre of house or a you know a subsect of house where it's all just skinny jeans and you know white t-shirts and stuff and kind of bland and boring music but it's good to see them doing this type of vibe as well there too considering it they've turned into honestly I've, I've been following these guys for a while but they've turned into legit rock stars it feels like over the last few years it's pretty incredible to see like the amount of beg friends that are out there in the front of the flipping stage trying to reach out and touch them and just get their attention is absolutely bizarre and again it's, it's a really interesting genre it's a really interesting feel to kind of get involved and i think that's why i'm obsessed about talking about it because it really doesn't make any sense because you're effectively playing music for the most part that isn't made by you there are some teachers out there who only play their own recordings and their own stuff um whatever it may be but for the most part you know people like surgeon and whatnot but for the most part you play music from that other people have put together and you're also only the only thing you're doing only quote unquote is finding out is you're, 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 you're the only thing you're doing is learning how to mix the two records together some people don't and you're also trying to sequence them and make them make sense in a set which isn't that hard if you've got good ear and you've got good taste. It shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. Maybe the technical side of it, of kind of beat matching and shit, and learning how to mix on vinyl and not use the waveform or whatever it may be. All those things are maybe a bit more tricky, but when it comes to having good taste and having to sequence a set or what comes next, what is a good track to start a set with, what's a good track to get people back on a dance floor, what's a good set to kind of end, that you should be able to kind of figure out the more you go out and the more you start to enjoy this type of music. So it's kind of easy. And to get to have the level of attention and kind of hype and sort of like fandom that an actual artist who spends time writing music composing it putting it together performing it doing dance routines and shit to have that same level of fandom just because you're pressing q and you're mixing channels and shit is pretty wild but it also explains why dj's egos are all over the place because the love that you get doesn't really match your talent level so it sometimes gasses you up do you know what I mean I can understand why DJs are kind of cunts in for the most part and have a really warped sense of reality and self-worth you know or warped sense of kind of value or whatever it may be I don't know something along those kind of lines similar to like comedians as well because you essentially just get on stage and tell jokes you know I mean anyone can do that um if of course not everyone's funny but anyone could do that so maybe <laughs> that thing gets involved in it but it's pretty funny to see but yeah they're legit rock stars man the phone thing i always hate there's loads of phones up in the air recording the moment like when the beat drops and shit i find all that stuff cringe and for the most part your video is never going to capture the energy and the spirit and the sort of vibe of the live recording of the live event anyway you're better off just recording a couple of clips so you can have the memories there but then for the most part just enjoy yourself pop a pill have a line um do, do whatever you want to do and just enjoy yourself but the whole recording stuff is really whack <laughs> And big up Adam Port as well. He's got these skanks that he does that are really funny. And big him up in general that he 
goes out for the most part sober, right? He's completely straight edge. I don't know how he's able to survive going out and DJing in places that he DJs in because there's a lot of, you know, for lack of a better term, you know, bimbos in this sort of scene, right? In terms of, you know, for for better for worse or for better or worse term like airheads that listen to this type of music right girl wise who just you know want to have a good time and just you know in it for the instagram pictures and shit and to show off their outfits and those type of girls are the ones that are like for zambukas you know when you're while you're djing and shit so they're not really the most um well-behaved type of people that you want to see when you're you know going to play so i can only imagine how annoying it must be to be around them and then plus the fellas the guys around you are trying to adam adam honestly come honestly i love you man you don't know me. you know all that sort of shit and you're completely sober Oof, what a career but i guess the the funny skanks kind of helping it of course he paints his nails of course he paints his nails Oh yeah, by the way, painting your nails and wearing pearl earrings or wearing pearl necklaces, that's got to be out in 2023. You've got one more year to do that shit. One more year of kind of showing how in tune you are with your masculinity and showing how, like, okay, we get it. It just looks, it just looks lame now. It doesn't even look counterculture. And you know what I mean? Before when you saw someone wearing nail polish, you're like, oh shit, man, he's really like cool. He must be, you know, into cool shit. It's like when you see you're somebody with like paint splatters on their on their on their trainers. You thought, oh, rah, you're a graffiti artist or you're a contemporary artist. Nowadays, you see someone with flipping paint splatter all over their clothes. They're probably wearing flipping gallery department. Do you know what I mean? So the nail polish is sort of the same thing. It's kind of cheapened the the counterculture sort of like avant garde punky nature of it is completely gone. It's just normy shit. You got kids online who wear clothes from fucking Primark painting the nails and shit it's like come on man you gotta try harder but yeah last clip here one more okay cool we're not gonna play again but yeah you get it i'm really really hoping that this means that we're gonna have more black people on the dance floor drake is now out there promoting the gospel of house music and spreading it far and wide via his instagram profile and being just you know via just him being him hopefully that happens hopefully that ha that is an occasion that kind of happens going forward that would be absolutely amazing to see i really really would love that but yeah but big up drake for you know going to these parties and enjoying himself and having a world of time and maybe this will spur other black people to get out there and join the dance floor because i've had enough of being surrounded by the whiteies i've had fucking enough <laughs>